much. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. Thanks for having us. Are you yeah, uh, both in Israel right now? Yep. Yep. Oh, nice. Well, uh, how's the weekend going? Anything fun happening? <clears throat> Just a whole bunch of mediocrity. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I... Yeah. At least you guys are celebrating your new album, Floating in Limbo. Yes, a huge celebration in Southern yeah, I, Israel. I have to say, I re I'm really enjoying it. And um, so you guys recorded it in the Irish countryside, is that correct? Yeah, in Northern Ireland. Yeah. And I, I imagine that being, you know, like a very relaxful place where you can kind of clear your head and just taking all the beauty around you. Yeah, it was on a small island actually called Inch Islander. Um, and it was a glorious uh, little place to record, definitely. Secluded and beautiful. Yeah, I've yet to go to Ireland, but you know, it's definitely on my bucket list. <laughs> and how was it um, working again with uh, Ron Bumblefoot? Because this was your second time, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Tremendous, tremendous man. Nice. And how would you describe your working style with him? Uh, our dynamics. I mean, we, we have a good chemistry going on. It's, it's, it's super fun. It was very fun the first time. Uh, I think we, 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 I think the second time was even better <laughs> was even more fun uh it, i mean it, it was a little longer period of time together that we spent uh but you know it's the first time was uh, our first album it's one hell of a ride it was uh 2020 i think even 2019 uh uh, it was already super fun, but this time in Ireland, it was uh, it was different. It was different. The the countryside, everything made it 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 made us create something else. Uh, and the the jokes, the food, the the entire experience was <laughs> super fun. Uh, and Ron made us, Ron knows us well enough. Yeah, he already knew what kind of sound we were looking for, and we knew better ourselves. He's pretty hands-off. Um, he lets us do what we want. Uh, he trusts us. And at the same time, you know, he's got his ideas when when we're not smart enough to know what to do, then he steps in and, and helps us with the sound. And, uh, <clears throat> it's a good dynamic. Awesome. And so the first single, No Silver Lining, um, I have to say the music video is brilliant. <laughs> I was laughing Thank the you. whole time. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, it, I love it because it really makes fun of how toxic Instagram and TikTok can be and all those yeah. stupid videos on there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we were aiming for. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Was it uh, kind of your idea to make that video? Yeah, <clears throat> we the, the, uh, <clears throat> just thought of uh, how can we vent our anger at uh, the stupidity of humankind? <laughs> we must make fun of it. We can't be too bitter. What was your um, like favorite part of the video to make? Hmm. Like a specific scene, I guess. The Karen, I think. Oh my god, I think I totally his favorite is Karen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like was like super funny it was crazy i don't know we couldn't stop laughing the whole time <laughs> i bet no. when between shooting and 
when we shot it, when we were shooting it, we just, you can, you can see it. I think it shows. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love the video. And I have to ask, um, another song I love from the album is Won't Last. I find it to be very hypnotic with, you know, the riffs and the vocals. Um, can you talk a little bit about the background of that song? The background of the, the meaning behind the song? Yeah, I guess, or just how that song kind of originated. <laughs> Well, I wrote that riff when I was uh, just playing guitar. When I just started playing guitar when I was uh, like 16 or something. And I wrote the rest of that song years later when I was about um, 26. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know, I was going through all this Buddhist crap. I'm still going through it, but <laughs> there's a lot of uh, focusing in the moment type of philosophies uh, behind that song and uh, felt it was uh, adequate to the moment I was experiencing. So <clears throat> that's, that's pretty much what it was. Huh. Well, I want to ask you guys, what is the best rock concert you ever attended? I think we both know the answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> Radiohead. Oh, nice. Yeah. How long ago was that? It was uh, 20, it was 2017. Yeah. They came. Yeah, they had one show in Israel. <coughs> yeah, they did a, a pretty long show, too. It was a great show. Oh. Were there any specific moments from that concert that really stood out to you? Just like that energy, I guess? Um, the first song they played was um, uh, Day, Daydreaming, I think. Uh, one of their relatively newer songs. I don't know, there was something about the lighting and the melody and it was just a great opener and I was bawling at the first song man. I oh, was wow. like, <laughs> <laughs> so touching <laughs> nice and so what else can uh, people be on the lookout for from you guys anything uh coming up in the next <coughs> one <clears throat> well we're trying to get um ron's uh artist visa going we're in legal battles against uh, American bureaucracy that won't allow us to perform because of mm -hmm. a work visa. Um, but we're planning a tour right now in the States and it, it, it looks like it's gonna happen. Uh, it's very hard touring here because we're locked up, sort of. Uh, you know, we're not touring, uh, Israeli bands aren't touring the countries around. Hmm. And it, so uh, it, there's a very different industry here and that indus industry does not really exist. So it's very hard and we're trying to get to the States, but bureaucracy has been very tough on us. Uh, so, but that's the plan. Plan is uh, going to the States and um, we're wor working very hard at doing that. That would be awesome. Fingers crossed for you, Ron. Hopefully the bureaucracy, bureaucracy doesn't let you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've we've known some disappointments in the past, but yeah, we're we're being positive. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it'd be cool to see you guys here. Um, have you been to Boston before? Boston, no. I've stopped in the airport once in in Boston. Uh, it doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got man. We I wish we could play there soon, as fast as possible. I want to play the whole, the entirety of the states. That'd be cool. Well, I, I'm sure you guys will make it happen. Thank you. Yeah. Pray for <laughs> us. Pray for now, us. The states needs the Dodies for sure. <laughs> 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 I really want to thank you guys again for uh, chatting and can't wait to see what you guys have coming out and uh, wish you best of luck with everything. 
Thank Thanks you. Very much. We'll we let appreciate. you know when we make it to Boston. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I will keep an eye out. <laughs> yeah. Cool. You're, you are hereby obligated to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, enjoy the rest of the weekend, guys. You too. Good Bye. <laughs>